Hello mga motorista and welcome to another episode ng Motorista Adventures Kakagaling lang natin sa Holy Week And we are back to regular programming For this episode, pag-uusapan natin ang ating Toyota Hilux GRS But not the GRS na alam natin dito sa Pilipinas na medyo bland looking GRS At itong GRS na to has been announced in Australia and also in Argentina mga motorista And to think why Toyota is not giving us that GRS, di ba? It's kind of weird. The only thing that GRS owners want is performance that can match yung ating Ford Ranger Raptor. And when Toyota released the GRS, obviously you cannot compete. More on lifestyle kasi yung GRS na nilabas ni Toyota, no? Glossy black grille, uh, it has that uh, highway terrain tires, of course, monotube shock absorber, 4x4, but it's not like off-road menacing stuff no napaka ano lang niya napaka civilized niya na GRS more of a lifestyle truck now for this GRS na pinag-uusapan natin I'm talking about this GRS that what you're seeing right now is the best looking GRS I think Toyota has done in other markets no I do think na it is wise for Toyota to bring it here in the Philippines because we love pickup trucks we love our ladder frame SUVs and to think na they can change the design of that GRS to be a lot more competitive match that Ford Ranger Raptor when it comes to the looks. So, tignan natin yung harapan ng ating GRS. Now, as you can see, you still have that familiar look sa ating headlight which are all LEDs for this generation Hilux. Other than that, if you take a look at the lower bumper, maangas, magandang tignan, no? They added a lot of designs dito sa lower bumper, mga motorista, no? They even have that silver lip right at the bottom part we also get a new grill specific for the GRS in Australia and also for Argentina models uh, aside from the A type grill parang nagsu swoop up pa siya and you get the Toyota logo just like the GRS that we have here na meron nakalagay Toyota we also have 360 degree view camera sa harap it is a little bit taller than the regular GRS that we have here also wider than the GRS that we have here hindi lang siya aesthetics kundi but for performance purposes plus 145 mm from the standard Hilux that we have and also, it also gets revised shock absorbers and also yung rear shock natin is different from the ones that we have uh, setup wise no, dito sa Pilipinas. More off-road styling and also you get big over fenders at the front which makes it a lot more beefy no, in my opinion. Now if you take a look at the tires as well, the tires are also quite wide with their... Uh, Bridgestone Dweller, all terrains na 17s instead of the 18s, no? more lifestyle yung 18. Itong 17, you can pull a lot of uh, tires no? na pwedeng uh, pang off-road nito. So, they added a rim that's uh, wi wider than uh, the ones that they put on the GRS dito sa Pilipinas. So, mas malapad siya, magandang tingnan. And I really do like the design of the rim. Kind of give that off-road vibes talaga. Parang... Uh, it is accessorized na siya, no? out of the gate, yung ating Hilux. Now, in order for Toyota to make it a lot taller than the standard Hilux, no? they added some necessary modifications to the suspension setup. So, you have a... I, I do think this is a lift kit, mga matrista, that they added uh, to the stock Hilux to make it more taller. And also, with that shock absorber, uh, monotube shock, shock absorber by KYB, it's colored with red. It's quite different than the monotube that we have. To the current GRS um, it will be a lot better when you use it off-road it's quite softer than before paired that with a big disc brake up front now with the GRS na colored uh, brake calipers and uh, dito naman sa likuran na part new for the GRS meron din tayong rear disc brakes Toyota have placed the rear shocks no outboard of the chassis instead of inboard so this aids in uh, the stability, especially if you're cornering. At the back, no, one thing that they didn't change, which is still a leaf spring setup. Now, aside from that, you still have those really nice disc brakes at Likoran. And if you take a look at the back, mga motorista, of the Hilux, no, typical Hilux GRS siya, so LED brake lights, no, tailgate assist, and also different din yung ating um, sports bar no? for the Argentina models mar meron silang parang aero type na uh, sports bar sa likod and meron ng cover moving on to the equipment na, or safety equipment na nasa exterior parts we have 360 degree angle view camera meron tayong ABS, EBD with brake assist 
And uh, this Toyota Hilux also gets all Toyota Safety Sense features such as adaptive cruise control, lane departure alert, lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring, meron din siyang rear cross traffic alert, and all that nice stuff when it comes to safety. This is Toyota, so maraming badge na kalagay GRS outside and inside. And moving on to the inside pala sa ating Hilux GRS, makikita din natin na uh, Typical Hilux pa rin yung interior natin. Not a lot has changed when it comes to the interior. Uh, for the Philippine spec and also for the other uh, countries na meron itong GRS, it does have some minor differences when it comes to uh, equipment sa loob. For example, yung ating, uh, meron tayong mga red accents sa dash and meron siya mga carbon fiber pieces. Also, sa ating steering wheel, you get the GR badge as well. Meron tayong gloss black no, na... Uh, sa, uh, sa ating spokes ng steering wheel. Yeah, typical Toyota Hilux GRS na to na interior. Uh, nothing different to ours dito sa Pilipinas. Now, one thing is different, no? Now, in Argentina, for the infotainment system, it is quite different, no? It's a lot bigger than the standard one that we have, the 8-inch unit. It is a 9-inch unit. I do think it's up aftermarket. It gets Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Uh, we have rear air vents, which also, sa Pilipinas, meron din yung ating GRS. Now, with all those improvements, yung ating engine also got improved, no? Um, although, it's still the 2.8 turbo diesel engine that we know from Toyota, uh, which produces uh, 204 PS from the Philippine spec version and 500 Newton meters of torque. Sa Argentina and sa Australia, yung mga GRS nila, they will get an uprated uh, power outputs no for this engine so instead of the 204 ps it will have 224 ps of max output well, that's that's plus 20 ps more and yung torque naman natin plus 50 ps now that's quite a big jump if you ask me um for the performance so it can carry that additional weight with a wider track and also the the off-road tires it will not lose a lot of uh, performance no uh, since, I think, again, I do think that this Hilux is uh, quite heavier than the current GRS that we have, the more lifestyle based. I do hope that Toyota Philippines will bring that dito sa Pilipinas because, again, we haven't really had any competition from Ford no, sa kanilang Ranger Raptor. Even the previous generation, Toyota didn't even come close to what the, the, the Ford the Ranger Raptor had. Uh, no, uh, in terms of specs and features and also for the all new Ford Ranger Raptor no, they added a diesel engine so if Toyota can bring this Toyota Hilux GRS this uh, better looking one and overall better better pickup truck than what we have uh, I do think it's uh, quite a match for the Ranger Raptor when it reaches here dito sa Pilipinas yung ating Ranger Raptor na next generation I think it can uh, go either way sa kanilang dalawa Kasi of course, yung mga Toyota loyal fans natin, siguro doon sila sa Toyota Hilux obviously. And yung mga more open-minded na mga truck buyers dyan na gusto yung ultimate performance, siguro they will uh, go to the Ranger Raptor. No? Um, but in any case, when it comes to the Ranger Raptor, we haven't had any news kung um, ano ba talaga yung engine na dahil hindi sa Pilipinas. But uh, uh, most likely, it will be the diesel. But some of you in the comment section nagsasabi na sana... V6 yung dalhin and uh, they wouldn't buy kung, ano, kung diesel. Pero le, le, we'll see. We'll see uh, Ford Philippines in the next coming months. Baka mag-release na ng media statement regarding that. Ayan mga motorista, no? Should Toyota bring this GRS dito sa Pilipinas? And kung dadalhin nila to dito sa atin, will it make a big difference? Wala tayong balita dito sa Pilipinas about that uh, GRS model. So uh, we'll have to wait. We'll have to see kung dadalhin niya ni Toyota sa Pilipinas. I, I don't see why Toyota would not bring that uh, model here to the Philippines, especially with the uh, growing demand of pickup trucks, especially this sa Mindanao, uh, most of the, the, the cars here are actually pickup trucks. No? <laughs> uh, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, click that notification bell for more videos on this channel. Once again, this is Adrian. You're watching Motorista Adventures, and I'll see you on the next episode.